I went on the show basically talking about masculinity and how to be a man. And I was talking about ACE, which was authenticity, credibility, and 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 empathy. On and Gavin then, McGinnis's show. With Gavin McGinnis's yeah. show. And then the Proud Boys started because he was like, we're going to start a group, like a fraternal organization. And it was young white dudes. And, and I was like, I went on in and I started talking about how you got to stop jerking off and watching porn because the first thing it does is it desensitizes you. Second thing it does, it's you, your, your expectations for what you think women are and relations are, are ridiculous. I said, so you, you have to actually talk to people to get to, to, to understand how to socialize. Right. And, and they, they, so we, went on this thing where we weren't uh was no jerking off no masturbating no watching porn then okay. the uh the whole thing felt went ended up ended up becoming this group and it became a whole fraternity the difference was they you know they took parts of what i was talking about and they left the other parts out which was the whole idea of empathy and then it became this white supremacist group there was a Facebook page. I went on the Facebook page and there was like nigger cartoons and nigger this and nigger that and all kinds of shit. And then they became Trump supporters. As soon as they became Trump, so this was like probably when before Trump even ran, like 2015, I started distancing myself. They, this thing grew because there was all these young white dudes who didn't have jobs, didn't have educations. If they did have educations, they had student loans. They were living in their mom's basement. They were jerking off. None of them had no girlfriend or nothing. And they were just, they wanted to. So that it started to be this white supremacy group. I distanced myself. And then once I got, I got interviewed with a This American Life, they they would say, well, they said you're the Pope. And I said, I had already, I'm already moved off from that. I, I've distanced myself. And then they explained to me that the, the Unite the Right thing where Heather Heyer got uh, got killed, right. they, they, they organized the Unite the Right rally. I had a Proud Boy tattoo on my neck and I got it covered. That's why I got it covered. And then when I got it covered, it became a whole theme, but I, I just wanted to get that off me. And that's what ended up happening. But then they, they ended up becoming a terrorist group. I, I got interviewed by the FBI twice because they were infiltrating the group and trying to bring them down because they were in Venezuela trying to overthrow the government in Venezuela. <laughs> so this, this thing literally came and, about- and where, where are they now? He's, There's they chapters get... all over the world. Damn. But didn't that, a lot of them got arrested for, or the Supreme, in front There's of the chap, there, there, was, there, thing. there was chapters all over the world. That, that's a group because this, it, you know, the, I mean, this is the, you know, what we're talking about now is this whole uh, kind of, it's cool to go Black Lives Matter, but prior to that, it, this, it wasn't cool. It was cool to be a part of that group. It was cool to be Nazis, and I mean, look at the look at the resurgence you have of the anti-Semitism in Germany right. and all these, and the soccer, you know, with the the soccer hooligans and all of these guys. Right, and, right. I mean, right. e I mean, I was watching something in in Berlin where they had a march with something like thirty thousand. Neo new Nazis that they were doing, and and this was the same guys, and it was like uh, the West is the best, and the white is right, and we created everything, and all this crazy shit they were going, right, and, they, right, right. and and that's when Gavin Gavin ended up getting in trouble, and the FBI started going after him, and they were you know he was saying all kinds of racist shit. I mean, basically he was doing the same thing Trump is doing now, the exact right. same thing on a smaller scale. <laughs> Every white guy who's a, who's so scared that their fucking entitlement and power is it will be taken away. Yeah. Yeah. So fuck you. You fucked yeah. up this. We wouldn't be in this situation if it wasn't for fucking asshole white guys. Well, I had I had you a, that, Harry. <laughs> Wait, I'm not even white. <laughs> I'm Armenian and Hispanic. So Leave he me out of this. And, he, he came and did my podcast, right? Why and, you give me uh, the finger, Judy? That's not. <laughs> no, I put it on lip gloss. It's not fair. You even look at even, you. See, so that's good. instinctual, Judy. That's muscle memory. Even your lip gloss. Who puts it on with I a middle finger? <laughs> that's from decades of flipping people off at at a at a moment's Shut notice. Up. <laughs> Judy, he came on the show and he was talking all that that uh. 
you know, welfare moms and there's a single right. fa black fathers and not taking care of children and blah, 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 blah. And I fucking, like, we had a discussion, like, after the show and I ripped him a new ad, like, just. And he has kids. Brown kids. No, he doesn't. I think I his wife this. is Native American, I think. No, I didn't know this. Hold on, yeah, I didn't know that. that. Well, Dude, his kids that. are brown. That was funny. I'm gonna take, yeah, I hated having him on the show. It wasn't my favorite interview, but he was yeah. out of his fucking mind from the get-go. But yeah. that Dude, whole My movie favorite potable is when he said, uh, get herpes. It's not that bad, no. Yeah, that yeah, was... Yeah, he says, go out, buy a motorcycle, get, uh, herpes, get in a rock band, get herpes, get herpes, get herpes, live your life. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. He's a fucking whoa, asshole. He yeah, it was a lot. It his was a lot. Me his methodology was saying something so crazy, herp, herp. and then following it up with something else crazy, so you didn't have time to fact right. check or think about Tell it. Me he was the early Trump. He's doing exactly what Trump is doing yeah. now. Just but crazy the, after crazy after crazy. But this whole group, the fascinating part about that whole how that all started, that incel movement. These guys who just they're they're they don't have the skills or there's there's something defective about them from the very beginning, <laughs> and then they <laughs> channel it. <laughs> There the is, there has it's, to a, be. it's a level of it's a level of entitlement when you haven't earned anything. And so right. if you're if you're black, if you're Jewish, if you're you you're immigrants, you know you gotta come here and you gotta work. You gotta do and you gotta right. and you better be better than no than and, than the and, and we're the most patriotic out of all oh, of oh, us, yeah. you know? Of course. We appreciate what what the good that we have here in this mother well they don't, nobody right. wants to take a knee for a flag but they're walking around with flags on right. their on their trump hats and it's elite it's 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 a it's a this it's what is it? it's the desecration. desecration of the yeah. flag so it's just ridiculous the absurdness and then to think you know and then when you talk about the confederate flag which is a traitorous flag they were trying to succeed from america in the first place and this is the symbol that they use so it's just it's just dumb it really gets to the point where where we're really talking about stupid people and and it's just like what trump says oh i love my i love my uneducated people of course you do because you can tell them that's anything. the only fucking people who are gonna vote for you you man school 202 better hear what i've got to say because you won't get it again i'm not an alpha male i'm not a beta male either i'm just a better man better man